When someone calls 911 for an ambulance, time is usually of the essence. So to hear about widespread delays in ambulance response times, it comes as a serious concern. And it could spell the difference between life and death. Here's WSFA 12 News reporter Ashley Bowerman. The nearest hospital to Macon County is about 25 minutes away. In an emergency, residents rely on ambulances for timely care, but officials say they're not arriving fast enough. It's between 10 and 12 minutes under normal circumstances, but now it can be even exceeding an hour. It's a problem happening across the state. Haynes Ambulance services Macon County and much of central Alabama. CEO Kirk Barrett says the biggest issue they're facing is a major delay in dropping off patients at hospital emergency rooms. A lot of times we'll have to wait two hours or, or more to drop patients off at the area hospitals because they're just simply full. He says last month alone they lost over a thousand hours waiting to drop off patients at area hospitals, time that could have been spent responding to emergency calls. But there's also a nationwide staffing shortage in EMS workers and paramedics, which can be felt here at home. It started at COVID. Uh, when COVID hit, a lot of the EMS workers left the field. Um, so it's just kind of gotten worse since then. Barrett says there's also no public paramedic school in the River Region anymore. So to fill the void, they've opened an in-house EMS academy to train people. But it still takes two years to certify a paramedic, so the problem won't be solved overnight. We need more education. We need recruitment of new EMS personnel to come into the field. We're going to need legislation here in the state of Alabama that it will allow ambulance providers a quick in and out at a hospital. And we're going to have to do a better job in not calling an ambulance when it's totally not necessary. Now, Barrett with Haynes Ambulance acknowledges that area hospitals are doing everything they can. He says they, too, are understaffed and overwhelmed. Macon County EMA Director Frank Lee there says they will continue to life flight patients when necessary. Financially, that is not ideal, but he says you cannot put a price on saving a life. Mark. Indeed. Uh, thank you so much. Trenum, by the way, used to offer a paramedic program here in Montgomery, but not anymore. The next closest program is at Southern Union State Community College in Opelika. Covering Lee.